Hi family, I'm Jordan Thorpe and this is Jordan's Journey YouTube channel where we are moving forward in life and in faith. If you are new, welcome. If you're already subscribed to the family, welcome back. Thank you so much for tuning in. And today family, I wanted to talk to you in regards to God has given you the blueprint. God has given you the blueprint. And so before I go into the word, I just wanted to mention that I recently revamped the whole shop jordansjourney.com and we have an apparel line in there called God's Princess. I'm actually wearing one of our signature hoodies now and um, God's Princess is just an identity statement as a reminder of who you are in Christ and how God views you, okay? You're God's princess. And so we hope that the apparel just serves as a reminder of God's love for you and your identity in him, okay? So we have it for women and children. Men, get it for the ladies, get it for your daughters, for your young girls. Let them know that they are a child of God. They are God's princess, okay? And so uh, you can get your apparel at shopjordansjourney.com. You can also uh, shop via YouTube. You can see the merch on the YouTube videos, okay? And so let me go ahead and get into this word, okay? God has given you the blueprint. And so in my previous video, I talked about how the land that was once cursed, God has healed. God has healed your land. He's healed your land and he has also given you a strategy, a plan to execute in the land and the territory that he has blessed. Okay. And so usually when you think of a blueprint, an architect has a blueprint and which is just a plan of what he is building. Okay. It is the, the strategy of how they are building this, the building, okay? And so God has given you this plan, this strategy for you to build, okay? And many of you may not even realize that you have million dollar plans, ideas, and strategies that God has specifically given to you okay and so god is saying he's given you the blueprint he's healed he's healed the land he's given you a plan a plan from the heavens to do what you need to do in the land okay he also was speaking to me about being possessed by the holy spirit and he specifically used the word possessed Okay, and so a lot of times when we hear possession, we think about being possessed by demonic, you know, they're possessed and and really you can be possessed by demonic, but you can also be possessed by the Holy Spirit. And when you look up the word possessed, this is just a Webster dictionary definition. It means to be influenced or controlled. Okay, and so we want to be influenced and controlled by the Holy Spirit. That is the only spirit that we want to be influenced and controlled by, okay? And so, because you did what you needed to do, the Holy Spirit is in you, working through you, dwelling with you, okay? So when people go against you, they are going against God because you have surrendered what you needed to surrender for you, for the Holy Spirit to be able to dwell within you, okay? The Holy Spirit doesn't just dwell anywhere. There are certain standards there are certain boundaries and ways that you have to live for the Holy Spirit to be dwelling with you, dwelling within you and operating through you to be used by a vessel. So you went through that process and he gave me some scripture, Luke 4, 18. It says, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has, he has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim liberty to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty those who are oppressed. So it says the spirit of the Lord is upon me. So the spirit of the Lord is upon you, okay? This, the spirit of the Lord is dwelling within you, 
working through you. And he has anointed you to proclaim the good news. So whatever the strategy that God has given you, whatever blueprint that God has given you, is going to be proclaiming the good news, okay, to the poor. The good news of the kingdom of God. He has sent you to, to proclaim liberty to the captives. A blueprint to set people free from bondage to set people free from generational curses and this is just not one or two people this is setting the masses the masses free okay setting people free by by the loads by thousands millions okay so he's giving you the the blueprint to set people free and to recover the sight of the blind so people were blind but now they can see so what God has given you the blueprint to do in your land is going to be awakening people to the truth of who they really are, awakening people to the truth of the Holy Spirit. Because there is a lot of deception out there and there are so many people, there are so many churches and there are so many organizations that are operating out of not the Holy Spirit any longer. And God is saying, I have given you the blueprint to set people free. We're, we're not no longer in bondage, keeping people bound to certain things, to certain groups and clubs. No, we're not a follower of people, but we are a follower of Christ. God said, who are you following? Setting people free, awakening people to the truth of the Holy Spirit, to who they are in Christ. God is saying the Holy Spirit is upon you, walking with you. Acts 1.8, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. And you will be my witness in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. So God is saying you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. So when the Holy Spirit is, is in you, dwelling within you, you will receive power. There are a lot of people who claim that they have the Holy Spirit, but they have no power. They have no healing power. They have no resurrection power. People are still in bondage. There's no progression. Look at the fruit. The Bible says, test the fruit of the Spirit. There is power and, you know, there's a certain standard of living. There are certain boundaries that have to be put in place for the Holy Spirit to be dwelling in you, to dwell in your space, to dwell in your area. There's a certain tone of worship that has to happen. I'm not just talking about raising your hands and singing a song, but I'm talking about your, your worship of, of your temple, your body. And so you have allowed, you have went through that process and now the Holy Spirit is dwelling with you and you have power. God is saying, I have given you the blueprint. I have given you the strategy to set people free in masses. The Holy Spirit is with you. And the Holy Spirit is not does not just dwell with anybody and everybody. There's a lot of familiar spirits out there, okay? But God's saying the Holy Spirit is with you and he has given you the blueprint, okay? And so that's all I have for now. If you would like to be a guest on our podcast, Jordan Journey Podcast, if you have a testimony to, that you would like to share to help and encourage others of how you overcame Make sure you sign up in the description box below. If you need additional resources to help you grow in life and in faith, make sure you fit, visit jordansjourneycoaching.com. If you need a one-on-one -on -one coaching session, a customized strategy to monetize your gifts and abilities, make sure you sign up for that as well. God loves you so much and so do I. Shalom.